All right, so we got the Amp Dyno 81 here. We did some in-car testing today on a bunch of different scenarios. And, um, you know, the Amp Dyno does something that no other tool's been able to do in this industry, and that's measure true RMS power in vehicle, both, both continuous sine waves and bursted signals or dynamic power, which, you know, this, like I said, is the first tool in the world that's been able to do it. So because of this, we're able to hook it up and, and get some very interesting data on things, uh, things that we've wondered about for a while in this industry. And, you know, there's other ways to take measurements with scopes and meters and things, but this is true power in a vehicle. And uh, it showed us some pretty interesting things today. Well, so you guys have probably remember the debate about capacitors. Um, do they or do they not work? And uh, thanks to the 81, we are now for the first time able to prove whether or not a capacitor in a vehicle is an effective and good investment. Um, if you follow the thread in my forum at SMD, you'll notice that the cap thread is pretty lengthy and there's been quite a bit of anxiousness on the part of members looking for an answer. And I have been hesitant to um, be able to provide that because I didn't have the right tool at my disposal to do so. Um, that's all changed. Now, anyone that's known myself and Mr. D.M. Moore for any length of time also knows that we have um, gone to great lengths to supply factual and good information. Um, Tony and I went on the road um, years ago and actually did the power tour, the power challenge, and uh, we brought test clip in the road and showed people um, that uh, the company we were working for at the time, we could put our money where our mouth is. This tool actually surpasses the ability of any tool that we used on the road at that time. So without further ado, let's get to it. We're going to do a bunch of in-car testing and we're going to show you the real world results of using a one farad quality capacitor. We're going to show you the real world results of using a 100 farad capacitor. And uh, this is actually a, uh, a Rockford Fosgate 100 farad unit that's been gutted. Um, this is kind of what happens to stuff like this when it's around a laboratory environment. And then we're also going to measure the performance of the amplifier with no capacitor whatsoever. Now what amplifier do we have in this vehicle? We have a uh, Rockford T2500-1BD CP. Alright, so let's get to it. I know you guys want to know these answers. So for the one ferret cap testing, we've uh, located the capacitor right next to the amplifier. We've got about, I don't know, eight inches of wire between the amp and the cap. So this is the best way to do it. We'll see what the results are on the dyno. All right, so now we've got the 100 farad carbon ultra capacitor hooked up, and same thing right next to the amplifier, same length of cables, actually the same cables. And so we will do some dyno runs with this one and see where that takes us. <laughs> 